Hey, hey, crypto family. This is Nemesis with the Crypto Brothers. Well, in this weird market that we are in right now, I try to find a little bit of positive news where I can. Um, this one seemed to be positive. I haven't read it yet, but I hope it's positive. Uh, American National Standards Institute to Address Blockchain in Upcoming Form. That sounds interesting. By Cointelegraph. Uh, by Anna Alexandre. Sorry guys, my sinuses are all messed up a little bit. <clears throat> Allergies. I took some Flonase for it, hoping that it'll kind of block, unblock my sinuses, but we'll see. It's kind of draining though. <clears throat> all right, so the American National Standards Institute, ANC, 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 will discuss blockchain and artificial intelligence, AI. Hmm. Issues at its next legal issues at joint member forum, according to the announced published September 17th. The ANSI is a U.S. based private not for profit establishment. <clears throat> and not for profit doesn't mean that they're not making money, it just means that they spend a certain percentage of it back on the business. They're still taking profits. Uh, it, 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 I hate whenever they put not for profit, I think it's a scam. But that's a different topic. Uh, Private-based, not-for-profit uh, not establishment that is comprised over 125,000 companies with international organizations, academics, and governmental bodies. That's cool. And corporations among these members, the institute does not develop standards, but administers and coordinates the U.S. and voluntary standards and conformance assessment system. Sounds like they're kind of like putting the roadmap down for the centralized control. <clears throat> At the upcoming forum entitled Empowered by Innovation, Cutting Edge Technologies Driving Real World Situation Solutions, attendees will reportedly focus on legal and ethical concerns exploring concrete applications of blockchain technology and AI. Per the announcement, experts from various industries like healthcare, transportation, food and safety, and others will discuss possible blockchain and AI deployments and how standards and conformity assessments can facilitate the further application and development of these technologies. That sounds kind of interesting that they're going to kind of help these industries adopt in blockchain, that they see that it's going to be able to help them. I like that. Previously, the ANSI set a number of international level standards, including the original standard implemented of the C language, which further became ANSI C and the first computer programming language standard, American Standard Fortran, known as Fortran 66. Oh, Fortran, okay. One of the Institute's nine standard panels, the Nuclear Energy Standard Coordination Collaborative, NESCC, is aimed at identifying and catering its needs to the needs for standards of nuclear industries. Ooh. Recently, the World Economy Forum, WEF, published a report dubbed Building Blockchain or Blockchains for a Better Planet, where, where it outlined more than 65 blockchain use cases for solving the most pressing environmental challenge Per the report, the next important step in introducing blockchain applications for environmental protection is the establishment for a responsible and global blockchain ecosystem as opposed to funding specific separate projects. That's actually kind of thinking really big. It's, that's more like them sitting there going, instead of having all these little squabbles of people saying, donate to me, donate to me, if you sit there and you just donate to the same ecosystem, it should be spread out and actually put into the same uses all through one, one blockchain. And it's all recorded, so it's all transparent. 
Um, so in that in that aspect, I do like that. Um, I'll definitely keep an eye on something like this, um, just because of the fact that it does it will help out uh, these different industries that that they were already talking about the healthcare system. You can sit there and not so much record your personal information, but more or less like recording um, like the, the medications and stuff like that. Where did they come from? Uh, who made them? What's in them? What are the actual? What are all the actual side effects of them? Because it's like the, they don't always outline every single thing. And once it's on the blockchain, it's there. You'll be able to find that information. So I think this is going to be a good step for for a lot of the the bigger industries to adopt. So I'll definitely keep an eye on that. So with that being said, what's your ideas on that? Drop a comment in down below. And while you're at it, smash the like button, hit the subscribe and the bell notification if you like the content. With that being said, you guys have a wonderful night. I'll see you next time.